Entering Genesee Gorge by Anthony Piccione. The tangling weave of leaf and branch releases. We awake suddenly and at last upon a great bristling stillness and urge to kneel and rise at once as inside the chest of a cathedral. Through the muscular rock and stocky forested upheave a river goes on arriving. Now the soundless clench over ears gives way to the roaring spill of waterfall. The sky is also new, or it was always here, strangely alive. A massive, billowing cloud bank weighs down upon all that surrounds until witness itself enters the dark, powering, luminous presence. Oddly heroic, then, is the squat water-wheel shack hunched alone in its task to part the tumbling rush and to creak on in its cogs to the grinding of bread. Stiff, rickety, a footbridge spans the gorge and holds. Incredibly two-robed figures, women or monks or angelic visitors from another time, are walking across. Their words, so invisible and tiny, go forth to whisper into nations. Above them feathery beings pause, lift upon the updraft.